2020, the year of pajamas and sweatpants. Today, we are in my closet with some tips for storage, organization, and transitioning from summer to fall. We're also going to show you some of our fall favorites in a mini fashion show right here in my closet using some basic essentials that we already have. I share a dressing room with my husband and we're fortunate to have a pretty big walk-in closet. This room was recently drywalled so we still have to put up some more shelves and some crown molding to finish it off. On my side, I came up with an inexpensive closet system using shelves, cubes, poles and shoe shelves that I bought from Walmart and Target and configured them in a way that suited my needs. Our dressing room is conveniently located right outside of the master bedroom, the door where it says Mr. and Mrs., and right next to the laundry room, so there's no more lugging laundry up and down stairs to a basement anymore. We love that. I'll get back to more closet tips in a minute. Right now, let's have some fun with a little fall fashion show. Here is our first fall favorite outfit modeled by my daughter Savannah. I put up a white backdrop so that you can see the clothes better. This casual leisure suit is so comfortable for lounging around the house or even for taking a long road trip. You can go from slippers to sneakers in this outfit. Fall is the season for layering. So she starts with a basic white long sleeve v-neck t-shirt, dark wash jeans, and a fur trimmed ankle boot. Where I live, you can actually experience all four seasons in the same day, so each layer has to be able to stand on its own. The next layer is a lightweight button-down shirt dress that she's wearing as a vest. When I think of fall, there's got to be a little bit of plaid in your wardrobe. She completes the look with an oversized red handbag and some sunglasses. She's ready for a day of shopping and running errands. Still sporting plaid, she switches to a new color palette of peach, turquoise, cream, and brown. She swaps the white t-shirt for a turquoise tank top, and the boots change to Timberland riding boots. Here the look is complete with an oversized turquoise handbag. Or maybe a peach handbag instead. I'm layering a basic look too, starting with some dark wash jeans, a short sleeve white t-shirt, and some navy suede ballet flats. If you're looking for a height reference, I'm 5'9 and Savannah is 5 foot. I'm also layering with a large print plaid flannel shirt. I love wearing this shirt on chilly days. It's very soft and it keeps me nice and warm. Another cute way to style a plaid shirt is to roll up the sleeves and tie it up in the front. The layers keep piling on with this navy quilted vest. I also swapped out the ballet flats for these camel suede shooties.
This sporty look has options. By tying the shirt around my waist, adding a ball cap, and a matching handbag. I also want to let you know that all the jewelry that I'm wearing in this video is sold by Angie's Treasures. If you're interested in purchasing any of this jewelry, you won't believe that each piece is only $5. The pictures will be referenced with a number, so pause the video here if you need to grab a pen and paper to write them down. Angie's website will be listed in the description box below. It wouldn't be fall fashion without sweaters, right? This next look is dressier with a knit skirt and a short sleeve cow neck sweater. It's layered over a long sleeve black t-shirt and tights. Jeans with a sweater is my personal uniform for fall because I'm always cold. I don't really consider myself to be a stylish or trendy person, but rather I go for modest, timeless, and well put together. You can always add layers to build up the look. Quick tip, if you get knobbies on your sweater, don't throw it away, shave it. It'll be good as new. Layering with a pashmina scarf is a great way to dress up a casual sweater outfit. I've also changed into some black suede over-the-knee boots to be ready for an evening out to dinner. Scarves are such a versatile accessory to have in our wardrobes because they can be styled so many different ways. I even wear mine as head wraps sometimes. Oh, and by the way, the ring and the bracelet are on an elastic band so they are a one-size-fits-all. And of course in the fall, we need animal prints and leather. This lightweight A-line leather skirt is perfectly paired with this lightweight suede jacket. Animal prints can be tastefully worn by toning it down wearing it with solids. We don't want to be too wild with our prints. This rust color is a must-have for me in my fall wardrobe. The sweater is from Ross store last year and can also be worn as a dress. Another quick tip when caring for your knit sweaters. When you have a loose string, don't cut it. It'll make a hole in your sweater. Simply just push that string to the inside of your sweater. From the outside, it will look as good as new. Ever have this problem? It can crease your leather boots and ruin them. Always keep your boot forms stored in your boots. And if you don't have any boot forms, the cardboard from the inside of a paper towel roll or a gift wrap works well too. Here is that same rust color, but this time featured in leather. This classic retro style is a good look to wear for the office.
This mustard color is also another fall staple for me. And this dress is so versatile, it can be worn in so many different ways. Can you tell I love this mustard color? I just had to pick it up when I saw it in a sweater form. This time I'm featuring it with silver jewelry instead of the gold. Here, Savannah is also showing an outfit in the mustard color, but this time she has it in the outerwear. I love a monochromatic look. I think it's very classy and cream. And every girl needs these oversized pearls, right? I'm not wearing shoes because, well, I need to buy some. I think a pair of cream leather boots would be nice with this outfit. What do you think? And who says pastel pink is only for spring? I think you can wear any color all year round. I'm wearing these pink leather shooties, which also look great with a pair of straight leg or boot cut jeans. We get lots of rainy days here in the South, so I'm ready with my Burberry print, well, everything. Galoshes, scarf, bucket hat, and mask all complement this classic car length trench. And don't forget your hand sanitizer. If you enjoyed this video, now is the time to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to visit AngieTreasure.com.
Home.com to pick up some new accessories to add to your fall wardrobe. All dressed up with nowhere to go? Come back next week and I'll show you my top 10 favorite activities and things to do during the fall season. It'll be the last video in this year's All Things Fall series, so you won't want to miss it. I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time.